All right, it's time for another math easy solution. We're going to discuss another hyperbolic trigonometry identity proof, and now look at this identity, which is cos or hyperbolic cosine of x uh, plus y right here equals to cos x times cos y plus sinh or hyperbolic sine of x times against sinh y right here. Uh, you can see uh, more of on uh, hyperbolic functions in the video links below if you aren't too familiar with hyperbolic functions because uh, I did a bunch of videos in my uh, a while ago and you can see all those in the video links below. Anyways, the proof for this one here, this is pretty straightforward. We could just use the definition of uh, hyperbolic cos and hyperbolic sine of h uh, to prove this by inputting this whole right side inside the definition. And basically we know that cosh of x equals 2 e to the x plus e to the negative x divided by 2. And so, sinh of x or sine, hyperbolic sine of x is equal to e to the x minus e to the negative x. So the same thing but with a minus sign. So now we just plug this whole thing inside of these uh, functions or use the definition for these four functions and then basically uh, we will prove it here. So this one here, cosh of x, that's just equal to this, e to the x plus e to the negative x divided by 2. Multiply this out by cosh of y, that is just this but with a y. So it's the exact same thing but with a y, e to the e to the y plus e to the negative y divided by 2. And now this is a plus this right here, sinh of x, that's just this, e to the x minus e to the negative x divided by 2. And multiplied by sinh of y, that is just the same thing but with a y, e to the negative y, I mean e to the y minus e to the negative y divided by 2. So now we just multiply these out. We will get, well, the bottom is obviously going to be 2 times 2 is 4. So I'll we'll divide it by 4. So now we use the FOIL method, multiply this by this and this by this. We get e to the x times e to the y. That's e to the x plus y. Basically, e to the x times e to the y. If you have the same base, different powers, or the same powers, you just add up the powers. You can see, learn more about these. In my power functions properties videos, uh, you can see those in the video links below as well. So we'll have this part here. Now e to the x minus e to the negative y, that's just equal to plus e to the x minus y. And now this multiplied by this, this is going to be plus e to the negative x uh, plus y. And then plus this part e to the negative x times e to the negative y, that's just e to the negative x plus y. I write, I'll write it like this. I just basically take the negative out. This is just e to the negative x minus y, but I'll just take the negative out. Just it will help in the proof. So we'll write it out like negative x plus y uh, in brackets. So anyway, so now we plus, and now this side's also going to be divided by 4, 2 times 2. So now we foil this out. This by this is going to be e to the x plus y. Multiply this by this is going to be negative e to the x minus y this by this, that's going to be negative e, negative x plus y, and then negative now e to the negative x, well plus y here, I'll, I'll, I'll to put the brackets in negative x minus y, same thing as writing it as, as negative bracket x plus y. And now we basically just add up and cancel like terms right here. The no denominator is, I'll put an equal sign in this, denoting that this is continues further. So we know the common denominator which is 4, so we just divide everything by 4. Now we just add up both sides. So e to the x plus y plus e to the x plus y, that's 2 e to the x plus y. So we just add up like terms, e to the neg e to the x minus y. There's a negative e to the x minus y, so these would cancel, so that'll be zero there. This plus e to the negative x plus y. And minus, there's a minus right here, e to the negative x plus y, so this would cancel. And now we have a e to the negative x plus y, and then a negative, actually, I, mean, I made a mistake here, because these would cancel out. This is a positive, because it's negative e to the negative x, times negative e to negative y, two negatives make a positive, so it's a positive. So then this would be basically add up these two like terms, plus right here, two um, e to the negative x plus y. 
and basically the two we can divide uh, top and bottom by two cancel it out or cancel the two out basically we'll be left with e to the x plus y plus e to the negative x plus y I'll put this in bracket just to make it uh, the proof more obvious divided by two now this is the exact same thing as cos h uh, cos h x plus y right here because we know that this one cos of x equals to e to the x plus e to the negative x divided by 2. So if we just replace x with x plus y, we get this, and this is our proof right here. So I'll just, uh, just, we could just highlight this, etc. as a proof. Anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned from this video. And remember, you can download these exact notes in the Dropbox link below. And thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another math easy solution.